but I want to quickly know exactly what you do, how it helps me and why I should choose you. So you're a differentiator compared to the others. I want to quickly see your offer in action. So whether that's like a live demo that I can preview or a video review or something similar so I can actually get under the hood of your offer or your software. Um, I want to see some proof of results. So client case studies or customers that you help, customer review videos. I want to check the pricing so I know it's actually in budget. So I don't need to speak to a salesperson to know how much it's actually going to cost me. Um, get my questions answered. So address common queries, concerns and all that good stuff. And on the basis that those blocks are checked, I just want to easily schedule a time with a specialist who can cover my questions and help me progress forward. So it sounds it sounds like that part of the website is super basic, yet so many B2B and tech companies just don't manage to do that, i.e. their messaging on their homepage is confusing or unclear, or it's just copying their com competitors like the homepage headline is, we're the best at this, or we're a two but turbocharged AI tool to help boost your revenues. And it just lacks clarity, lacks differentiation, doesn't show folks like why they should choose you and how it's going to help them. And a lot of it really in Emmanuel comes down to customer research and understanding what your dream clients, aka the people that are going to buy your stuff, actually care about learning, seeing, doing and taking action on. And unfortunately, a lot of a lot of startups neglect this, a lot of funding company, a lot of funded companies neglect that sometimes because they've got pressure from VCs or Perhaps the exec team are just copying what the competitors are doing. So there's, there's a lot of stuff around customer research that can really, really help your website in terms of messaging and actually in, ensuring it resonates. Yeah, I mean, you know, when they come to the website, it should actually increase the trust, not decrease it. Yeah. But